Yes. Um, this is my new property here in Florida. I kind of wanted to update you guys because I'm at like I think there's a lot of misunderstanding with like what I'm doing and and what I film and what's going on in my in my life and like I think everybody has ups and downs highs and lows and I think I should just explain I think maybe um, so first of all uh, the whole COVID thing I hope you're safe I hope you're healthy I hope your family's healthy I, I hope your universe uh, your immediate universe is doing well uh, I wish nothing but the best um, if you're suffering or you know you you know somebody who has COVID um, leave like some some information down below like if you know somebody who has it and how they're going through it because um, I don't I don't watch TV and I don't really watch much news only when I go to my grandfather's house and stuff um, another thing going on is the whole stimulus package or stimulus check um, I did not receive one of those I think because um, actually Jake and my buddy uh, Kyle called me and they're like, uh, did you receive your check? And I'm like, no. So I'm like, maybe mine's just, you know, in the mail or something. Um, but I think everybody in the country got one. It, it, as far as I'm aware, like I said, I don't really watch TV or anything. But, um, like, I, I didn't get one. I think it's because, and, and this is going to kind of go into what I'm explaining here. And that is for the last two years, maybe three years. Um, I haven't profited um, as a business. 3D Machines is a business, believe it or not. <laughs> um, but nope, just kind of at idle mode, which is absolutely okay. You're gonna have your highs, you're gonna have your lows, you're gonna have your dips, and and it's, it stinks not being consistent and not you know going ahead and just being like, hey, I know that, that when I go to work today that I'm gonna go ahead and make X dollars an hour or um, X, X dollars a year. That doesn't happen with me. I could put up a video and it could get no views. It could, you could find that one like 500 that goes viral. You, you never know. Um, so no, I don't have a bunch of money. I wouldn't be buying stuff like this. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm actually, I'm really excited to, to film stuff like this. Uh, right now, today, is like, uh, I, I worked a lot in my garage and my studio and had a good day. Uh, a neighbor came over and, and helped me. Um, I'm actually gonna change the angle real quick. Okay, that's a little, that's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, so today is more so uh, a busy day and a, uh, a level-headed day and I think um, what, what I'm most confused about is the fact that sometimes like I, I'm not I'm not sad right now and I usually talk like this when I'm really thinking about what I want to say uh, sometimes I'm not always straight to the point because you know I'm just I'm personally not like that so um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing just fine right now, so I don't want you to think that I'm depressed or, or sad at this point in time. I'm okay. Um, but I, I think what I'm confused most about is, like, how do you guys interpret me? Because, like, I, I have high days, I have low days. Uh, you know, there are moments when I get really, really excited. There are moments when it's like, you know, this really is unfortunate that this is happen, happening. And it's like, um, am I supposed to like fight my emotions and, and, and only stay like excited all the time in, in every single one of my videos and like fake my emotions or like, you know, mislead my emotions or, or is it okay 
for me to go ahead and be like, hey, you know, I'm really excited today because we're gonna do X. But you know, maybe uh, the next video, it's we're doing something that's a little bit more tedious and a little bit more strenuous. Is it okay? Like, I I personally think it's a okay to to be a little bit more reluctant. Um, so I, I hope that I hope I'm covering that correctly. Um, I think you sh you should probably be true to yourself and and true with how you feel. Um, you know, life isn't always a bowl of cherries. Um, it's it's not. I, I understand that this is a, a different demographic than I'm used to, you guys. I was always riding dirt bikes and four-wheelers, and that was when I was, you know, 14, or no, I was 16 to about 22. Uh, I was really into that. All my friends were into that. So, and, and my grandmother had 100 acres, and my other grandma had 500 acres. We didn't ride there much, but... And then Jake had 70 acres at one, or maybe 60 acres at one property, and then like 30 or 40 at another. So like we always had a place to ride. So that was, you know, the norm. Uh, now, uh, I want to take a different path. I'm Dirt bikes and four-wheelers don't turn me on as much as they did. I, I really enjoy my friends. I really miss, you know, Seth and Jake and Kyle and Ian and Nate, and the list goes on and on. I don't want to bore you with that, but... Yeah, I'm gonna miss them guys, but at the same time, I have to worry about me and what my life's going to turn into, and and that might be with you, that might be without you. Um, I really want to add some comments here though, because I was reading some of them and I really appreciated them. And they, you know, when somebody goes ahead, goes out of their way to take time to write something nice, like that's awesome. That's so amazing. And that's what I enjoy most about this whole entertainment thing, this whole engagement thing, this whole social media thing. So everybody, there were some people that were concerned. Uh, Dalton painted the chicken coop in black. Rip, <laughs> rip chicks in the summer. Uh, my property is really, really well shaded, like incredibly well shaded. So I don't think the color is going to affect them too much. Not only that, but there's uh, two spots where the air can completely move in. And the other thing is, is they're only ever going to go in that coop at night. During the day, right now, uh, they're just roaming around the yard. So we're not gonna have chicken nuggets, as far as I'm aware. Conrad850, uh, you're gonna attract a new crowd, LOL. I've been watching since the Brat Board. I knew you were gonna go through some transformations, but I didn't expect this. LOL, it's fun to watch, still good content, big thumbs up from me. I appreciate that, Conrad. And then, you know, sometimes you go ahead and you're so focused on doing stuff that um, you, I always wear earmuffs, right? So I had my, my safety glasses up here when all I had to do is pull them down to actually have them be useful. And they were on my forehead and you guys like that. Uh, 280 zone says, uh, glad to see you had your forehead protected at all times. Safety squints engaged. W9 Cat, I'm enjoying the new content. I wasn't a fan and never really watched the dirt bike videos, but I really am enjoying these builds and the new lifestyle. See, I, I understand there's going to be a different demographic. I understand that, and that's why views are down, and I accept that. Um, but the, the main reason why I'm making this video is because, um, A, I think I, I should communicate. I, I'm really good at communicating in real life, but, like, this, like, I still don't look at it as, like, I have a fan base. And I put, I don't look at it as, oh, I'm 3D Machines, you know, I have 600 and something odd thousand subscribers. Like, I literally do not look at it that way at all. Um, I just, you know, put my pants on one leg at a time and just shop at stores like the normal Joe Schmo. Like, and people, you know, a lot of the naysayers are like, oh, you know, money's changed him and he's... He's different now that he's got all these subscribers and he's got clout and I don't really feel like I do. All right, so, so after the cop video, okay, my grandfather and my friend both mentioned that I was like a d And I, I was slightly short that video, like the cop. I was so irritated. 
the fact that I drove 40 miles to go to my buddy Jake's house and I was last I was down to the last 200 yards and the cop pulled me over. So I was already irritated. I'm like, you know, this guy doesn't have to pull me over for the light uh, the light out I have. Um, I know I knew I had a light out and maybe I'm a bad person for, you know, having a light out. I knew that. So I'm like, you know, just let me go, dude. So he pulls me over. Turns out my registration was um, up too. So, like, I'm, I have, like, I look so miserable when I'm just sitting there, when I'm actually um, enjoying myself. Or uh, this time in particular, I wasn't enjoying myself, but I definitely wasn't, I, I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was being an a-hole. Like, I, I really felt that I just was, answering his questions um, more so maybe, maybe I was um, I guess I didn't mean to do that but like <laughs> when you drive 40 miles 40 freaking miles and you're down to the last 200 yards like you you're kind of irritated so maybe I was I don't know I took that video down because I don't want to be I don't want to be a naysayer or, or you know Whatever. I guess my communication skills in that video were not the best. Um, but the other thing is, is like, is YouTube really something that I should continue to do? Like, I did really well at it. I, you know, I started with no subscribers, got up really high from daily vlogging, and then uh, due to my inconsistencies, I basically became unreliable. Right, if uh, I, I don't think anybody should ever expect anything out of anybody. I think you should be grateful for everything that people do, and I really see a lot of expect expectations and um, you know people expecting me to upload all the time, and and I'm sorry that I don't. I'm really sorry that I I can't meet some of your guys' standards or a lot of your guys' upload um, needs. I, I wish I could, but I if I filmed everything, I would get nothing done. Nothing done at all. But the fact that I, I've been brought up, brought up by... Different people have brought it up to me that it's like, you know, maybe you shouldn't do this anymore. And when you know, a few different people are telling me this. It's like, well, do I stop and just let it die? Or do I give it one more, you know, hoorah? And, and you know, maybe I'm that close to actually doing it right this time. No idea. Um, it's definitely a mind game. So instead, instead of going ahead and telling you everything that I'm going to do, because I apparently am not very good at, at communicating directly here, I, I think what this YouTube channel is, and always has been, is, hey, just watch what the heck I do on this journey, and who cares what has happened, and who cares what's going to happen? Let's just see the journey. Let's just, just ride it out, right? So... Um, uh, we're gonna work on this house. Uh, we're gonna build a new house. Hopefully, that's the that's the plan. Now, by by saying this, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I understand that there have been projects that I haven't finished, um, the Jeep, but it's still we still have it. Uh, crush, you know, we got that side by side. It was totaled, fixed that, raced it even. Um, the crush carrier. We didn't finish it to be a crush carrier, but it's Jason has it, and he's making it into a Jeep carrier. So, it, you know, it's it's still gonna be used. It's still stuff like that's gonna happen. The Honda uh, was fixed for the giveaway and given away to the winner, um, KTM. You know, needed work. Replaced the the piston on that thing. Got that done. Darmax works good. Uh, the house only needs a little bit more work in, in New York. I'm gonna go up there in the next couple days or the next couple weeks and uh, finish that up. Um, so, 
I don't know. If if you don't like what I put up, go ahead and don't watch. Um, so yeah, but we're living in Florida now, and I'm enjoying it. I like I literally there. I, I believe in signs, and when people are telling me stuff like this, maybe it is time to to close up the chapter. But I'll tell you one thing: the signs about living here are only only ever clear as day that I should be where I am. Now, the signs aren't so clear about YouTube. They aren't. Like, if I keep on feeling bad, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. Um, and I'm not sad right now, or I'm not sad thinking about it. I'm just stating, you know, uh, how I feel because I think these are the videos that a lot of people may want to see. Life is confusing. Life is really confusing. And, you know, being a kid is easy. Being a kid is so easy, okay? When you have your grand or your grandmother paying the, the mortgage on the land you ride on, and then you have your mother paying the mortgage on the garage that you work out of, and she pays the you know, all the bills, it's like, what the hell do I have to worry about? But now it's like, you know, I'm just beginning adulthood and it's a lot of freaking work. Holy smokes. Like, I, I don't have the luxuries of a lot of big YouTubers. Like, they got cooks and stuff. I gotta, I gotta cook my own food, nah, whatever. Just like a normal human being, right? Cook my own food. Gotta keep, keep up on the yard and stuff like that. So... But, hey, you know, I'm excited for this journey called life. And I hope that things work out so that we can continue to, to do it together. Um, I think I've given enough information that I've answered at least a couple questions. And I'm, I just want to enjoy my life. I think uh, life should be a, a constant, how does the saying go? Life should be a constant adventure. It should never be a bore. That's by Earl Nightingale. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, so I hope I answered some questions. I hope you guys are doing excellent and staying healthy. Until the next video, we'll get into what I bought and what we're dealing with. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you can keep up with the Froggy Fresh Productions. We'll see you guys later. 3D Machines out. <laughs>